Hello guys, welcome back to Talent Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will see how this T context load will work. So basically, there are two options for us. One is to load context variables from this context panel, or else you can directly add in this uh, context tab, right? But now we will see how to load it from a file. So for that, I have created a sample file here. You can see context.txt and uh, saved in my uh, local machine and I have given key value. You have to supply key value. Key will be the name of the column and uh, value will be the what you want to pass it to that particular value. Okay, right. Now, let me drag delimited input file to my workspace and then start working with it. that edit schema yeah it's already the key value key value so now i will get one more deleted uh, file input delimited file For this particular uh, component, I am not going to set any values here, but I will try to add context load only for the local. So I will be not declaring any value or any prompt option because context variables will be reading from this file and will be supplied to these two okay now i will go to this component and uh, edit here limited these two context variables i have just defined over here but actual uh, values will be supplying from this because this t file input delimited will be uh, forwarding those rows to t context load so t context yeah you can see here i've just passed the video and you can see this is how you get the information 11 rows have been processed to the log row